You know, it is, it's definitely hard to make a name for yourself out here. Um, it's definitely hard to, you know, make a, a hip hop scene that's booming everywhere else, you know, in a small, in small state Wyoming. You know, it's not super Hollywood around here. We don't have, you know, five, six different venues that we can choose to go perform at. You know, we have, we have one, we have maybe two, you know, for lucky. Being in Cheyenne has helped me as an artist like to the fullest, more than being in a city because you got diversity of people. So you learn different things from different people and the things that I learned from those people, I'll put it inside my music. The music scene itself is like, Bumpy. I don't know if anybody else notices or pays attention around here, but we can put up just the amount of sound that you hear all over the world. So now people are starting to come around and uh, see that we, you know, we do have a hip hop scene here and we have uh, not just the scene, but we like have the lifestyle here. You know, we can, um, like there's definitely a lot of people that live the, that, that I mean, me, for example, you know, I've always lived hip hop. Hip hop has been my, my whole life. I ended up coming to uh, Dillinger's when they were doing, it, it was like a classical night. And I, there was a lot of people there. My brother was gonna perform there. And I was like, yo, I have a couple friends that rap and we're pretty good. So uh, how would you feel if I brought my homies here and we came and did a open mic? night session and I've actually was here the first night I kind of like peeked in and I was just like what's going on here and then I, I saw um, Dominic and he's like do you want to hop on and I'm like sure why not so what Dillinger's is doing is they're basically like using the guidelines and following the protocols of COVID but still trying to make it to where people have something to do and it's awesome now because like Thursdays are you know, open mic nights are one of the few things that I like really look forward to every single week. You know, it's, uh, it's something that I get to like, I get to go out and I get to hang out with these with these friends and of mine and everything. You know, all these other cool artists that I've gotten to meet along the way. This is life changing for us because we've always wanted this. Like I've talked to so many people who've just felt like there was never a way out. And I feel like this is giving them like an opportunity. And I'm meeting a lot of new people who I didn't even know who did music. Music was always influential to me in life. It's probably to me, it's one of the most powerful things ever. I just really like artists that have something to say rather than just like talk about sex, money and drugs all the time. I really like that they connect to people on a different level, which I what I want to do for my community. Well, you know, I want people to hear my story. I want people to hear my story and be like, oh, damn, that is crazy, you know, or catch little metaphors in my songs and be like, oh, I know what he mean by that. Music helped me out through a lot of stuff. It was, uh, I feel like I owe my life to music, really. I, there were times in my life where I didn't have anyone else around. Really, no one was no one was there, and music always was. Music really saved me through all the obstacles, all the hard times I've been through. Like I come from a family of 14, it hasn't always been easy, you know. My I've seen my parents struggle, and music is everything to me. I just want the people of Cheyenne to give different things a try, you know, things that you uncomfortable that you think you're uncomfortable with, you know. Give it a try. Give, give this music a try. You know what I'm saying? You never know what you might like or grasp from it. You just never know what you might like. That's I didn't know what I liked until I grew up and when I came here. And some people never leave places like here. So I was able to grasp a different point of view of things. And I want you guys to do the same thing. I love you all the time Thinking in my mind like how I'm gonna get it for you baby this time Eating everything but I love them cook meals Working every single day I'm just trying to get a meal I know